Yes, you've read the title of this video correct. Is Bitcoin going to $1 million within the next 90 days? Well, I personally don't think this is possible. However, the former CTO of Coinbase and former general partner at Andreessen Horowitz, which is one of the biggest venture capital funds in the world that focuses on crypto as well, thinks and bets $2 million that Bitcoin will reach a $1 million within the next 90 days. Now, he does have some logic behind to his madness, and his tweet did go absolutely viral on Twitter, reaching 10.5 million views, and it's still trending under business and finance under Twitter, which is absolutely crazy, and a lot of people have said this is impossible, but I do believe he does have, have some logic behind his madness, which I will get into in just a second. However, in the meantime, Bitcoin has been smashing above this bull flag that had been forming in the last couple of hours, and we are currently just under $28,000, but we are at a very, very critical level right here, which I will get into in the video in just a second, which is why we're seeing a bit of a uh, reverse reversal currently, but I will get into it in just a second. But guys, before I continue, nothing in this video is financial advice. This is just my own personal opinion and personal TA only. So always make sure to do your own research before trading or investing. But let's jump back into the video. So Balaji, right? So what he's saying is, Bitcoin can reach a million dollars within the next 90 days. Now, the logic behind to this crazy and bold prediction that he put $2 million of his own money into is that uh, basically, you know, right, a lot of banks are in trouble. In fact, around 180 banks have been suggested to be in trouble, right, in terms financially, because a lot of banks are also collapsing. You know, SVB, uh, we know uh, Signature Bank, and we know that First Republic is on the verge. Credit Suisse uh, is also trying to be bought out right now. These are some of the biggest banks in the world, especially Silicon Valley Bank and Credit Suisse, right? These banks are beginning to go under. And as these banks began to go under, Bitcoin saw this massive, massive rally that we've had in the last couple of days. It's been crazy. Bitcoin has been going from literally uh, $19,500 to all the way to $28,000, which we're heading towards right now. And this is absolutely crazy because the dollar has been losing value and banks collapsing has a strong fear to a lot of people, right? But he does share a lot of in insightful information, which is why I definitely recommend reading this entire thread because there is some pretty interesting stuff. But basically, because last year, no one expected the interest rates to increase this much at this rapid pace. In fact, a lot of banks didn't expect this. Therefore, they had a lot of short-term treasury bonds, which uh, people's money was in store because, of course, no bank has one-to-one -one reserves of anyone's money. They take that money and invest it to make their own money, right? So uh, a lot of banks had their money in short-term treasury bonds, which lost a huge sum of value when the interest rates began to increase. In fact, we can see that the unrealized gains and losses on investment securities went all the way down to negative $675 billion. Now, this is absolutely crazy. And when this happened, right, and people began to want to withdraw their money, banks had lost a lot of that money. Uh, they couldn't give the depositors a lot of their money back. And that's what caused bank runs. And when more and more bank runs happen, right, then, you know, you see something incredibly crazy, which is an entire financial system uh, that breaks down. Now, when a financial system breaks down, what do we have to solve this? In 2008, we had nothing to solve this. In fact, Bitcoin was created after 2008 to solve a problem like this, if it ever to have happened again, and it looks like it is, uh, well, now we have Bitcoin, right? So Bitcoin can solve the situation. If more banks begin to collapse, which it's rumored to be, then Bitcoin is here to save the entire situation. So uh, that is why he's given a very, very bold prediction that in the next 90 days, Bitcoin can hit a million dollars given that institutions, countries begin to adapt Bitcoin uh, at a faster rate. And he said that bank runs just, ha they, they don't exist. And then one moment later, they happen. So uh, this is what he's suggesting will happen too. Uh, at a very short and very quick period of time, everyone will be switching to Bitcoin. And that's what he's suggesting. And look, it's, 
It's not impossible, right? It's not impossible, but it would be an incredible sight if it happened. And then yes, Bitcoin can potentially grow a lot of adoption uh, as even in the last couple of days, it has been growing because of the banks uh, starting to collapse as well, right? So uh, it is possible. And I do recommend reading some of his theories, although I did summarize it, I believe the key points uh, that he's mentioned. So I do recommend checking out this thread, which I will leave in the link in the description below. But coming back to Bitcoin, well, Bitcoin was forming this beautiful bull flag, which we broke towards the upside. However, on the daily chart, we can see that Bitcoin is forming something called a right angled ascending broadening wedge, right? That is a huge name for a pattern, actually. And I will show you the textbook pattern also. So this is what it looks like. Now, in terms of bullishness and bearishness, it is a bit of a 50 50 pattern, uh, but it can break both ways. However, it's known to it's known that if it breaks towards the upside, it usually breaks towards the height of where it's broken from. But if it breaks towards the downside, it breaks the half of the height from where it breaks from. So given that if we measure the height of where it could possibly break right now and is breaking, then we just put it to the place where it's breaking above. And that gives us a target of $34,790, which would be absolutely crazy. But personally, I want to get above 20 29,000 first before I open a trade on that because at $29,155 and within that range, we can see a lot of back tests to the price of Bitcoin through the last couple of months and years uh, within the last cycles, right? And if I jump into the weekly chart, we can see that yes, Bitcoin has had multiple retests to that line and it is very, very important resistance for Bitcoin to get above. However, Bitcoin reaching $34,790, yes, there's also a lot of price movement at that level too. So that is a nice target in my opinion, right? But it would be incredibly difficult for it to happen. But if what Bel Balaji suggests is happening too, then yes, I don't think it's an impossible target for Bitcoin to come across. So that is what I wanted to mention. However, Bitcoin has been doing exceptionally well. If you've watched you know, my last videos, uh, a lot of them, in fact, I have been talking about this parallel ascending channel, uh, which if we broke towards the upside with volume, we would explode. And that is exactly what happened. We've broken towards the upside and now we're almost at $28,000. We've also broken above this uh, continuation pattern that we have been forming since the June of last year. And I did say if we break above with volume, we would also explode, which exactly happened too. And also we broke above this inverse head and shoulders. You know, it was just the perfect storm. Bitcoin had the perfect storm, everything aligned up and it caused this break to happen, which I'm super, super grateful. And happy for and hope we continue this way. But guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Again, I do recommend reading everything that is going on with Balaji and what he said, what he said, it is only like three tweets. Uh, it is pretty long, but I do recommend again reading it because it's pretty interesting. Some of the stuff you said, and you can look at some of the infographics too. Uh, but guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, so make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. But guys, take care and I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully tomorrow. So take care, guys, and bye bye.